Mike, thank you. Fox Science pushing for answers in a stalking murder of a woman who was killed leaving her job at an Urbana supermarket. Police say her estranged husband is under arrest, accused of gunning her down, despite the fact there was a protective order banning him from having a weapon in the first place. Tom Fitzgerald tonight live at the Frederick County Courthouse where there was a hearing in the case today. Fitz. Well, Jim, good evening. Uh, the suspect in this case, Frederick Sakai, was scheduled for a bond review hearing in court. Now, we did see him on closed circuit television from the jailhouse. However, it's this mugshot that we want you to take a look at. This was just as he was being booked in connection with murder and weapons charges. Frederick Sakai smiling as he was taking his booking shot. Now, this case involves his estranged 33-year-old wife, Tanisha Butler. Butler was just leaving her job at the Urbana Giant supermarket when officials say Sakai shot and killed her in the parking lot on her way home Saturday night. Our customers at the store told Fox 5 they are both saddened and shocked that a tragedy like this happened in their neighborhood. I couldn't believe it either. It's a very calm, quiet family-oriented community, so it was shocking. My sense of um, security and the realization that it's everywhere now, and it's, you know, it's scary. It's not heard of, you know. You know, I, I, was, I was surprised to hear about it. I really was. I'll wait for that ambulance to go by here for a second. The victim, Tanisha Butler's family, left the courtroom they were emotional today and said they did not feel up to talking to fox 5 about this case at this time however law enforcement officials tell fox 5 that butler was in the process of divorcing sakai and had even gone as far to obtaining a protective order which would have barred him from possessing any weapons when he was arrested in columbia maryland in his car with both a handgun and a rifle Whose responsibility is it to enforce the protective order? Well, as soon as the protective order is, is issued from the Frederick County Sheriff's Office, we do our due diligence to make sure we do everything within the law to make sure that person doesn't have any weapons. But once that protective order has been issued, we do not continue to follow up on them. Frederick Sakai is going to remain behind bars tonight and for some time to come. The judge extended this bond review hearing to tomorrow at 1 p.m. until Sakai can attain an attorney. We're live in Frederick tonight. Send it back into you.